name is Lauren Richards. Welcome to How to Make Relationship Work YouTube channel where we give you all the valuable information you need to take your relationship to the next level. Subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss any of our video. Regardless of whom you hurt by being unfaithful and how he or she reacted, there is no question that infidelity can really shake up any romantic relationship. But infidelity doesn't always mean the end of a relationship. For the unfaithful as well as the betrayed partner, here are 8 ways to cope and rebuild a healthy partnership after cheating. Number 1. Don't automatically assume the relationship is doomed. Once your partner finds out that you have been involved with someone else, it might seem like the easiest thing to do is run. But leaving a damaged partnership can sometimes be a cop-out, a way to avoid taking responsibility or recognizing your own faults. Instead, assume that staying together is equally possible, if you are willing to put in the hard work required. Number 2. Acknowledge that you have created a problem. It might seem simple, but if you don't come to terms with the fact that you messed up, the healing process won't go anywhere. Instead, whenever you are apologizing for something hurtful, recognize that you made a mistake that caused your partner pain. Even if the affair was only the tip of the iceberg, when it comes to problems in your relationship, you have got to take responsibility for your personal transgressions. Number 3. Figure out what drove you to cheat. Infidelity is rarely the result of a momentary lapse in judgment or attraction to someone else. Instead, it's important to get to the root of the issue. Did you feel lonely in your current relationship? Did you feel a consistent lack of sexual gratification from your partner? Whatever the problem, try to figure it out so you can understand why you made your mistakes and don't end up repeating them. Number 4. Cut off communication with the other man or woman. The first step to repairing a relationship after infidelity is ending the affair, but that means more than no longer having sex with the other person. Truly recommitting to your relationship means ceasing all interaction with the person you cheated on your partner with. It may not be easy, especially if you have developed feelings for that other person or were used to seeing him slash her on a regular basis. Number 5. Limit the times when you talk about the infidelity. Once the unfaithfulness comes to light, it's easy for both partners to end up talking about it constantly, but you two should instead give yourselves about 15 minutes every day to discuss the betrayal, and then move on. Positive distraction whether going to see a movie or going out to dinner together can be really important for the future of the relationship and for the happiness of both partners. Number 6. Give your partner time to heal. In an ideal world, the unfaithful partner could just say, I'm sorry and win back the other partner's affection. But in the real world, it can take at least a year for the betrayed partner to feel that he or she is able to trust you again. If the betrayed partner wants to talk about the infidelity give him slash her the opportunity. Shutting him or her down will only make the situation worse. Number 7. Be honest with yourself and with your partner. After weeks, months, or even years of dishonesty, one of the most important steps to repairing the relationship is being completely open and honest. If your partner has a question about the affair, answer it to the best of your ability. After all, it would be pretty awful if you kept certain details hidden, only to have them surfaced later on. Number 8. Seek professional help. Not every duo will decide to engage in couples therapy, and that's okay. But keep in mind that a licensed therapist can help the two of you figure out how to move past the affair by thinking about the factors that motivated one person to be unfaithful. The therapist can also help you come up with specific ways to restore trust and maintain a stable partnership. Conclusion Everyone has a right to heal at their own pace and after infidelity. This may ultimately involve a breakup if a healthy relationship cannot be maintained in the aftermath. However, overcoming it is also an option, even though it involves a lot of work, willingness from both parties to do the work, and a lot of patience that will inevitably be part of the process. It is absolutely a possibility. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, 
and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And be sure to press the notification bell to stay up to date. We have two new videos every Tuesday and Friday every single week.